Well, we finally get the One Piece chapter. This is my my third attempt, I think, and hopefully it works. Well, first of all, Rebecca meets up with Lucy again, and she actually recognizes that Lucy is not Luffy, but someone else. Still have a hard time actually believing it, that um, shouldn't everyone, including the gladiators, know about the powers of Straw Hat Luffy, so shouldn't they see through the disguise or whatever? I mean, how couldn't they not see that Lucy is Luffy? I mean, true, <laughs> if it was real life, I probably would not have seen through the disguise either. It's not really that bad, it's just that that the rubber fruit is actually the only sticking out thumb. But I guess Devil Fruit is you, it's not really archived that he has it. Well, either way, and Sabo says the same thing that Lu Luffy said, that this kingdom is only keeping up front and is actually reminding himself of uh, their, their kingdom. I mean, the Gao kingdom. Elsewhere, uh, the... Uh, Luffy, Zoro, and Kinemon have meet up with, uh, and together with Wika have meet up, meet up with Viola, who reveals their relation with Rebecca. Apparently, Ricky Dold the third has two daughters. Yeah, Rebecca's mother was also a princess, but it seems from the flashback that she did not want to be a princess, so she gave that right to Viola and instead vowed to just have a normal life with her daughter. Well, but the relation between them is actually very good. It also appears that Wicca herself has also watched over Rebecca. Or not. Because, uh, because, uh, Re because Viola is familiar with the dwarves. And she shows them a hidden passage that apparently not even Don Flamingo knows about. And during uh, the fight with the... Uh, Frankie, it turns out this Senor Pink is actually a pretty weird dude. Well, the all the Don Quixote pirate members have shown up to be pretty weird. But when I mean weird, he, he's a guy who dodge when he wants to, and fights when he wants to, and swim when he wants to with his sui sui no me. Uh, sui maybe is, is for swim? Uh... And uh, that makes him very carefree. And also, that guy Mashiv is, he also joins the fight. He apparently, his gag is apparently that he suffers from stomach pain. Also doing belly flop and all that. But the Marines surrounds surrounds them, declaring that Cyber Frank is under arrest. It turns out Fujitora is siding with Don Flamingo. For now. And what does that mean? That means afterwards, he don't care what will happen. He will attack Don Flamingo because apparently even though he's a new admiral he wants to destroy the Shibukai system this is actually the first side of Fu well we have seen a serious side of Fujitora but this is actually the first time when we see that serious side it actually feels pretty scary doesn't it I mean that means he is he is dead serious by destroying the Shibukai system and also that the Riviera is this year. It will be a new age and not even Don Flamingo will be able to keep his power. But he's only siding with Don Flamingo for now in order to assure the safety of the citizens. And now the fight will... And now the main event fight will start. And the one who first will enter the scene is Lucy, who is actually... Uh, I mean, who is Sabo. And Sabo actually calls Bartolomeo or Bartofeo or whatever. Showing that also he has a forgetting about the names. And also Sabo wields that iron pipe staff that he wields as a kid. As he enters the scene, then we see also see Koala catching up. So we will see how Sabo can fight. I mean, I was a little bit worried when I saw he still had that metal pipe. I mean, of course, the metal pipe staff is a effective weapon, but... It almost feels like he's still fighting the same childish way he fight he fought as a child. I mean, how how as an adult has Sabo evolved? No idea. We haven't seen it yet. But we hope he has evolved. There's there's only one thing I was actually hoping for. I mean, by now it it may actually be that 
Sabo has not eaten a devil fruit. The reason why he wants to win the Mera Mera no free fruit is to inherit Ace's will, and that could all that could mean that he wants to eat that fruit, therefore carrying his brother's will through that devil fruit. But the part of me actually wished that Sabo has already eaten a devil fruit. If you think about it, it would make perfect sense if the youngest had a paramecia, the middle had a soan, and the oldest had a logia. I mean, that would mean that all three of the brothers would have one of the each devil fruits, but by now it seems that the middle do not have a devil fruit, of course. This is only me doing theory. It's not confirmed yet, but I was a little bit worried when he was beating that staff because, I mean, I thought it was going to have a cooler staff or whatever. Either way, the main event fight will start. This chapter was okay. It was pretty good. I mean, it was pretty scary to see see how Fujitora's serious side. What will happen and what can happen? And when he mentions that Riviere is this is this year. You know, I have a fear about that. I'm a theory about that. It wouldn't surprise me if Dragon crashes that party. That will also make perfect sense if Dragon appeared in the Riviere just to tell everyone the same thing. It's a new year and he is gonna move. But that's only theory. Give me your thoughts.